This is the Golden Temple in Amatsar, where literally hundreds of thousands of people come to visit a day. It is a sacred holy place for the Sikhs, but it's not just for them. What's amazing is just how welcomed everyone feels. To enter the temple, you have to cover your head. Okay. So you're not Sikh? I'm not Sikh. But how, how often do you come? Uh, I come uh, once a month or twice a month whenever I get time. Really? And it, this place makes me comfortable and relaxed. After checking our shoes, we wash our hands and feet. What I love about it is that you take your shoes off and your bare feet are touching the ground. It's like this connection to the earth, connection to God. It's a real sense of tranquility here and feeling of uh, spirituality. Walking through the entrance and seeing the Golden Temple surrounded by the Holy Lake is truly awe-inspiring. You can really feel the energy and how special this place is. We enter, kneel, and bow our heads. This prayer is to give thanks to whatever God you believe in. Oh, the Golden Temple is it's kind of like a fort with four main entrances. That's right. That's east, right. west, north, south. south yes. Which symbolizes the inclusion of everyone from right. everywhere. Everywhere. There we keep the holy book, the Granth Sahib Ji. It's, it's pure gold, 24 karat, and it's all handcrafted. It's, there's no machine, nothing has been used for this. You know, there's something so wonderfully calm and serene about this place. After walking around the Holy Lake, we make our way to Lunger. Part of the visit to the temple is giving service, or seva, where one helps in the preparation of the meal. I've been to the Gurudwara in Delhi, the Bangla Sahib, which is pretty impressive, but nothing comes close to the Golden Temple here in Amritsar. With over 80,000 people being fed a day, the sheer quantity of food is unbelievable. And it's all done through donation. People come and they donate their time, they donate money to buy ingredients, and then they all cook in community. People are peeling vegetables, peeling potatoes. What was really cool was the amount of potatoes that were in this big vat. It's a lot of potatoes. I was getting tired just lifting the potatoes out of the water. You know, to feed 80,000 people, you have to have several burners. I mean, the size of these vats are impressive to say the least. How big is this? How much, how much dal is in here? It's, it's uh, 250 kgs each. 250 kilos. How many of these vats do they do a day? It's, it's, it's the fourth one uh, since morning. Wow. I always find the dal amazing at the Gurudwaras. I mean, it seems like they just make it to perfection. Thank you. That second thing for the dessert, it's called keel. It's milk and uh, rice. It's rice pudding. It's rice pudding, yes. I mean, this is what impresses me about the Gurudwaras. You eat really well. No one will be left hungry for the end of the day. Kunal and I go into the dining hall for Lunger. To feed 80,000 people, it has to be a well-oiled machine. Every 15 minutes, there's a new group of people. You come with plate in hand, you sit down, and then the volunteers give you your food. What struck me about the food here was just how comforting and home style it was. I mean, the chapati was delicious. The sub sea with the potatoes and the soy was like comfort food. It wasn't too spicy, but really flavorful. And then you have the dal. It wasn't like the dal makni with loads of butter. It was like a home style lentil soup. I love how the kheer was served warm. That's their dessert. It's like rice pudding. It wasn't too sweet, but it had lots of flavor. The moment I tasted kheer, it's just amazing. Like it's mama's just, cooking. It's mama's cook for me. I almost want to get the recipe of this kheer off these guys. We can, we can try it. After your meal, there's no free ride. You bring in your plate to get washed. As Kunal and I bring out our plates, a man tells us to join in for Seva, to help out. We make our way to the dishwashing station. I mean, the mass of people washing dishes. You have the men, the women, everyone's washing dishes, everyone's coming in community to give service. After a day filled with vegetarian cuisine, we leave the Golden Temple for some Punjabi-style meat. 